I wish I was an expert like them people off the chase. You know them general knowledge? Like general knowledge is sick, like they're just firing it out. There is one thing about the chase that I'm not entirely sure about. The big black brother, they call him the dark destroyer, bit racial. If I was on the chase, what are you gonna call me? The Birmingham bomber? And let me tell you one more thing. This country has a very bad history of naming their black superstars on TV. Remember Gladiators? Yeah, three, two, one, that guy when you're running up the Travelator. What did they call the Black Brothers on that show? Shadow. Nightshade. I'll tell you about the phrase that makes my flipping blood boil, yeah? Where they don't laugh, they don't physically laugh if they find something funny. They say the word lols. <laughs> now, how annoying that is. Straight face. I'm saying some hilarious shit and they're sat there. Lols. <laughs> lols, your mum. <laughs> My, my, sexual, my sexual awakening was the Argos Editions catalogue. Yo, bruv, I slammed my willy between the pages bare time. Bang! It was a freak from back in the day, you understand? Pain and pleasure. Here's a childhood memory that won't go away, yeah? Behind our house now, there was an Irish lad not lad, he was an old dude who used to have an allotment patch. And you know that in your fence where you can peek through like a little crack in your fence, yeah? I think the ball had gone over, so we were peeking. You always know, Bernie there, because Bernie was a weird guy. And we, wit <laughs> we witnessed him have a shit in his, allot on his allotment patch. Actual, like a real life shit. He wiped it with leaves and that. Fucking what a lad. You know, the next time I saw Bernie, he was trying to offer man radishes. Yo, Bernie, keep your shitty poo patch radishes to yourself. I ain't got time for it. I only eat your asshole. Radishes. I would walk up to a lamb and say, Your mum was bare tasty. <laughs> My weird obsession, yeah, is that in year six, I used to. Fancy Cilla Black, you know, the Liverpool lady with the big teeth. I don't know, she just used to do it for me, man. A lot, a lot of laughs on that. Oh. <laughs> Listen, not only was Cilla a painting now, yeah? She was a thug in the boardroom as well. Apparently, I heard a story now where, in, if you had a meeting with Cilla Black, okay, she had a glass of Prosecco, and by the time she finished that glass of Prosecco, you had to get your asses out of the meeting, meeting, finish. Thug and sexy. <laughs> A job that I secretly suspect that I would really be actually quite excellent at, but would never do, is a police officer. Fed. Because I think deep down somewhere, I'm a massive snitch. <laughs> Sorry, Liz. Something that should have been taught in schools is what took place under colonial rule by this nation, OK? Because all I remember from history at school was King Henry VIII whapping around his massive dick, having bare wives and beheading his chicks. There's no relevance to that. I'll tell you what I'd make illegal. Instagram algorithms. Let me tell you why, yeah? One second I'll be there, swiping, getting knowledge and spirituality from quotes of Malcolm X or video clips of Muhammad Ali talking about how he didn't go to the Vietnam War for moral reasons. And then in just one swipe, bang! Big back off, juicy booty. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going down a rabbit hole, a Swedish gal with the biggest bumpers you've ever seen. I wanna, I'm having fantasies of eating lasagna off their asses because they're so round and volu it's voluptuous. Is that the word? Voluptuous, whatever that word is. Oh, oh yeah. See, mommy, but it's, it's run by the devil, is what I'm saying. Instagram algorithms are run by the devil. You need to check them out, they're big, like. 